Pops, I'm back with some more useful information. I wanted to point out here that templeinstitute.org um, has information. This is for people that are not familiar with uh, the Hebraic roots, any of the spring feasts, the fall feasts, the days of all, the high holy days. Um, Rosh Hashanah is already done. Um, go in here to uh, understudy tools on the days of all and Yom Kippur. I also highly recommend um, reading about Sukkot as well. It's the last of the, the holy days. So we go into here. I'm trying to make this really quick. And it's got several chapters. They're short. They're, they're not long at all. That that clearly outline the meaning of the day, what they do, how they do it. Um, so preparations for the Day of Atonement, the high priest bears full responsibility for the service that day. As opposed to other ceremonies throughout the year, all the sacred tasks performed on Yom Kippur, tasks which bring about atonement for Israel, must be done exclusively by the high priest himself. Woohoo! That's good news right there. So after you've done that and read read all about that, I highly suggest it's going to resonate with you. I just know it is. Um, reading the seven letters to the seven churches, everything that you learn about what goes on during the Day of Atonement is in those seven letters. I've highlighted a couple things here for you. It's probably too quick for you to see. They're going to resonate with you. You're going to they're going to stick out to you then after you learn about. Yom Kippur and Day of Atonement, what happens and goes on that day, even up through chapter 4 of the book of Revelation, um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to pop right out at you. Read it, read it, read it. I did another word search um, with regards to uh, the TorahCalendar.com website. I just love the fact that, you know, the twinkling of an eye is the thing. It's a, it's a real thing. It always has been for them. And it's that time right in between daylight and darkness, this this pinkish blue, pinkish blue area right here is the twinkling of an eye. And Jerusalem's seven hours ahead of me on Eastern Standard Time. Uh, you can look up in here. It shows you the exact time, the, the what watch it is, what creation day it is. The, but the whole twinkling of an eye thing, and I did a word search. So in Psalms 46, 5, God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God will help her at dawn. Again, John 8, 2, at dawn, he came into the temple, and all the people came to him. I hope this helps you gain wisdom and insight. Um, Helps you draw closer to the Lord. He'll draw closer to us when we do that. He'll He'll give us that wisdom from the Holy Spirit. I hope this edifies the Word and helps grow the kingdom. Peace to all of you. Have a great day.